Hello Internet, it is me, the E-Man, and welcome back to No Time Act 2. So on the last episode, we rescued some prisoners from Mr. Crimson's Time Police, including Clint Westwood and some random guy that sounds like Owen Wilson. And now, we're all hiding out in a cave in 33 AD, or 33 CE for all you people who are nerds. Anyway, now we're just waiting for Edward to return from whatever time period he jumped to. So, I guess I- oh, okay, hello there. Hi, I was just waiting for you. Still got the cape, huh? Oh, hey, you made it! I am so glad to see you guys. Wow, you're scary. Hi. Oh, I guess I'll just, okay. How's it going? Greetings, travel! Oh, sorry. Hi! Uh, where have you been? Let us just say, I wanted to visit my distant rel- My distant, I guess, relatives, and got stuck for about a year or more. I missed you guys. That- could have gone very wrong. You could have you could have uh, destroyed the fabric of space and time. I know, but hey, here I am. So now that we have time, let us think of a plan. May I <clears throat> may I have leave of the <clears throat> may I have leave to go to the blackboard? Yeah, sure. What's oh my god, what is happening? All right, I mean, carry out. Oh, I guess he's still doing the accent or whatever. Did did we just have an earthquake, guys? Our adversaries, the evil time agents. Very lifelike. That's a pretty fantastic drawing. Thank you! Currently, we are here in 33 AD. They must be in some point in the future, looking again for a chance to find us. Okay. I'm following you so far. This is why we must let them find us. But, 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 but how? Hmm. We may need some kind of tracker to send a signal. Oh, you mean like those, like those time beacons I had to find in the first episode? Then we will need to distract them for a while. With our training bot. Oh, it's everyone's favorite, the training bot. Okay. Then we... Enable a device sending a virus to all of their time machines. Oh, you're gonna trap them? Sending them into a distant future. Oh, dude, that's that's harsh, man. That's worse than just killing them. They will never get back since the virus locks them forever into that set date. Dude, that is, that is diabolical. Trapping them in the distant future? Wow. The only thing I do not know how to get is a tracker device. Okay, well. I do. Really? Well, basically, I was held underneath a mansion for a time, I believe in 1970. Well, they were working on some tracking devices, as they called it. To search for you, I guess. They mentioned your names. All right, great! We need to get it, then. Can we talk? Uh, yeah, okay. Let's whisper about them behind their backs. We will need this tracker. Ask Westwood if he remembers where exactly this mansion was. Oh, and two more things. Yeah, uh, what else do you need, buddy? It is about the training bot and the other device. I will need a radio, two packs of metal parts, and a magnometer. I guess in the 80s, uh, the 612 should still be open, probably. Uh, okay. Metal, two packs of metal parts, and a... It was a, a, a radio? All right. All right, I mean... Cheerio! Okay, cool. I'm assuming that I have that. It'll tell me what he needs, right? If I scroll all the way down. Yeah, okay. A magnometer, two packs of metal parts, and a radio. A magnometer should be able to... S oh, at the smuggler in the future, two packs of metal parts and a radio. Uh, wait, don't I have a magnometer? I do! I have a magnometer! Okay, cool. All right, I got a magnometer, so that's done. So I don't have to go all the way back to the future. That'll save me a trip. Uh, two packs of metal parts and a radio. Okay. Uh, hey, Westwood. Hey, pal. Everything's safe? Do you recall the place? I remember a mansion that was 
suited in a high area. I saw a mountain, so it must uh, be at its foothills. They mentioned something about 75. I hope it's the right year. I don't really remember anything more. Great, so, like, the most vague set of information imaginable. Perfect. Awesome. Cool. Did that, that start a new... Mansion Cri Crimson. Let's go up here. All right, cool. I'm gonna, uh... How much uranium do I have right now? I got four. This one's spent, yeah? Okay, chuck that. Uh, see, I'm in rough shape because I don't have a gun or a Mr. Crafty or anything. Uh, where did I get the flashlight? Oh, I've had this since the very beginning. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's drop that in there. I don't really need to carry that with me. I also don't uh, need to carry the magnometer with me either. That can go in there. Uh, let's grab a thing of uranium. Chunk that in. In the 70s, huh? Um, okay. Well, let's see if the 612 will have the stuff in the 70s. So, I guess... Uh, April 4th, 22, 1975. At 12 o'clock noon. Uh, that'll do, I guess. Alright, so let's... Uh, oh wait, I gotta turn on the reactor. There we go. Um, let's go, I guess. Come on. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna die! Oh, that was very close. That was very close. I almost teleported with, with too high a temperature. That would have killed me instantly. Yikes! Okay, I should be good to travel now. Uh, my engine is sufficiently cooled off. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, it's already got the cooling on. What was? What is that? What's all that green stuff? Noxious gas? What is this? Oh, it's radioactive. That's weird. I wonder what's up with that. I guess the mine. It's a uranium mine or something. That's weird. Uh, oh no. Okay, that is water. Ah. Uh, all right, it's fine. I'm an amphibious vehicle, apparently. Okay, that was a little bit too much of a steep hill. There we go. Woo! Heck yeah. All right, so this is the 70s. So, like, a DeLorean... The DeLorean Motor Company was already established then. So this wouldn't be too out of place. Also, does that mean I can get myself fixed up at the mechanic? Oh, sorry, dude. Can I... Okay, can I... There we go. Uh, yeah, there's the mechanic, because my car is a little bit on the frazzled side. I've got some money. How much does it cost to fix? Like, 50 bucks? Oh, you need any help? Yeah, can you repair my car? $67? All done. All right, cool. Thanks, dude. Um, so I think, I think since this is the 70s, the 612 isn't here yet, right? Yeah, because it would be, like, right here, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right. So, okay, I can't do the thing for author yet because the 612 doesn't exist, but I can do the mansion. So, he said it was in the hills. Do I have any other information to go on besides that? Uh, likely situated somewhere around the slopes of the mountain. He remembers talking about it in 75. Okay. So, I guess I'll hop in. Uh, I want to come out of town in order to fly. Because the locals would think that's a little bit, uh, a little bit quirky. A little bit, a uh, little bit quirky. You know, like the girl in high school that likes anime. She's a little bit quirky. Uh, until she stabs you with a pen. I'm not talking out of personal experience or anything, but that, you know, that stuff happens. Of course, there has to be a guy right at the outskirts of town. See, they did pave the road. I was right. It just took them 40 to 75. That would be 35 years. Yeah. Okay, let's...
let's 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 fly. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. So a mansion in the slopes of the mountain. All right. Let's try to find this thing. Well, I don't see anything yet. There's a parking. Oh, hey, there's a time fragment in that parking lot. I want a collectible. Oh, there's like a couple of them here. Ow. I just had the paint refinished. Get out of my freaking car. What is this? Grab that. Yeah. There we go. One out of three frag. Well, there's the other one. I don't know how the heck to get that. It's like in the sky. Whatever. All right. Up, up, and away. It does look kind of cool in first person. But ow. Okay, well, it, it looks cool until you crash. Then it doesn't look as cool. Everything looks cool until you do it wrong, and then it doesn't look so cool. Oh, hey, there's like a whole other town over here. I've never been this way before. That might be the mansion right there, actually. Yeah, that might be it. All right, so there's like a whole little extra village over here. Interesting. I've never been out this way. Oh, no, no, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up! Ah, God, okay. And I am upside down now. All right, oh, no, 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 this is not at all what I wanted to do. I stop. Please. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. Regulated. All right. Cool. I'm going to take a wild guess and assume that that's the mansion. Let's just... This is fine. Thwack. All right. Let's pull up. Yeah, this is totally it. Where we're going, we don't need roads. We can just walk. There's a giant sea for crimson, I guess. This place looks awfully suspicious. Time agents. I think this is it. They're, they're... Oh! <laughs> okay, I was going to say, where are the time agents? There they are. It's just... Oh, dude, he thought, he thought that was pretty funny. Luckily, none of these guys have guns. That would be troublesome. Uh... I guess let's just kick in the front door. Hello! Ow. Why won't you die? There we go. Open up my notepad. There has to be some secret entrance of sorts. Okay, I'm going to... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Where's my, where's my alcoholic beverage? Ugh! That's what I think about your checkerboard floor. I'm just going to leave it around. Oh, there's some pretty nice art. Oh, there's Mr. Crimson, I guess, and he started as a shepherd, and now he's an industrial overlord. I don't even want to know what this, this is. Oh, I was going to say, I don't want to know what this science is. I think those are literally just spices, because that's a kitchen. Eh, ah, cooking, science, same thing. That looks suspicious. No? Okay, I guess that's just the button for the TV. Oh, there he is making a deal with... Someone. Uh, there he is at a communist hippie rally. <laughs> it's like the worst possible mix. <laughs> Hippies and communists. Oh my god. <laughs> that's hilarious. That is... This is... That's beautiful. <laughs> He's a dirty hippie communist. Uh, can I go through here? Can I punch your plant? I'm assuming there's a... He's there said there'd be a secret entrance, right? I don't know what I'm supposed to find here. Unless it's not in the house at all. I really this really looks like something that would be a secret entrance. But I, I can't interact with it, so I guess not. What about anything in No? Okay. No. Nope, nothing. Huh. 
I, I guess I'll look around a bit more. Outside, maybe? Oh, hey, okay, it's right here. I was literally standing on top of it. Alright, whatever, I'm in the catacombs now. Oh, this is some, this is like some SCP hallway right here. Ooh. Okay, now we're in Half-Life. Oh my god, we really are in Half-Life. What is going on here? Hello? Knock, knock! Oh, no, I messed up my hotkeys. Ow. Okay, well, he's dead. Or severely concussed. What is that? Is it, what are these? Stun batons? I can't pick them up? Ah, oh, it's lame. What about this? What are those? Like, LEDs? This is the armory, but there's nothing here I can take. Ah, it's kind of lame. Whatever. Are these just are these just rolls of Kevlar? Whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a camera. Okay, moving on to this room, which is clearly where I'm supposed to be. Uh, door needs card two. Ow! Oh, what the frick? Oh my god! What is? Why are you textured like that? Ow! Okay, I think that's just the lighting. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was like, oh my god, what is wrong with his face? Uh, this is, that's the way I came from, but there was another door, right? Yeah, here. Is that a tram car? Okay, we really, this is, okay. Take that. Can I... I want to get on the train. I want to be with Dr. Freeman. All right, whatever. Moving on. Uh, what about this way? Oh, this is different. Okay, I can't interact with the elevator, but I can. Oh, okay, hi. You represent progress, and I'm going to beat you until you tell me where to go. Please die. There we go. Thank you. That was very courteous of him. Uh, anything else over here besides man? Okay, other second man. Good. Just what I wanted. I was done with one. I wanted another sequel. There we go. The long-anticipated sequel of Man, Man 2. <laughs> hey, if Man is so good, why hasn't they made Man 2 yet? <laughs> okay, this is just the Death Star boardroom. I love, the, I love this base. It's like every perfect evil location all in one. Is there anything in here? No, eh? Okay, did one of the guards have a key card on him? Yo, he did. He did. Okay, let's take that. Oh, sorry, I tripped on him. There really wasn't anything here, right? No, okay. <clears throat> All right, we beat everyone that we needed to. Maybe the elevator's how we escape. Uh, where's the key card thing? Boop! All right, cool. Uh, maybe we should take that. We have space. We can take that. Dang it, I didn't bring a bag of sand to replace this with. I have a feeling the second I take this, something bad is going to happen. Or or not. Okay, I was just paranoid. Never mind. Um, this looks like a secret manufacturing for trackers. I got the tracker. Uh, detonation in T-minus 30 seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> really? Even I don't believe it. Okay, I really thought that maybe that was an elevator. All right. Uh, okay, the way I came, the way I came. This is the way I came. Ten. Nine. As much as I'm very curious what happens when you die, I also don't want to die because I haven't saved in a while. So, uh, peace out, brother. How big an explosion is this going to be? I'm going to stand on my car. Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god! I just took that like a champ. Ah, don't worry. They won't discover residual radiation for, like, at least a couple more years. That was epic, though. So, um, I'm sure all those unconscious time agents made it out right in time, and I just didn't see it. Uh, that's what I'm going to tell myself before I go to bed tonight, uh, so that I can sleep without the guilt of murder. Uh, well, at least I made it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, at least I made it, and only me. Uh, I asked Westwood if he... Okay, so I guess... 
I got the tracker, so I should take that back to Edward. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I think that's a rather good place to end off this episode. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you again on the next episode uh, real soon. Goodbye!